Jesus is right. Can you praise God on this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I say to Pastor on this morning, amen. We appreciate that kind of word. We were saying amen. You couldn't hear us because of the mass. You said we was quiet, but you just couldn't hear us because of the mass. Amen. Amen. But somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for holiness. Hallelujah. 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 For without no man can see the Lord. Hallelujah. It's tight, but it's right. And I appreciate it. I appreciate the reminder. Hallelujah. Although I get it every day. When you wake Mike up in the morning, first thing he's going to tell us is you got to be holy. Hallelujah. So I bless God for that on today. Amen. Minister Dean, while I'm talking, can you get 2 Kings chapter 20, verses 1 through 7? 2 Kings chapter 20, verses 1 through 7. Amen. We bless God for the founders of this house. To my father and my mother, Bishop and Mother Meadows. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God for them on today. Hallelujah. We thank God for our pastor, Pastor Aaron Thurnton. We thank God for bringing him over the dangerous highways. Hallelujah. We bless God for Evangelist Carolyn Dean on today. Hallelujah to uh, Evangelist Regina Parker on today. Amen. To our prophetess Moore on today. Amen. We thank God for my husband, Elder Michael Chambers. Hallelujah. Who was not trying to stay home on today, y'all. <laughs> Me and my age was trying, but he would not stay home. But we bless God for his presence in the house on today. Amen. To Mother Eans, we thank God for you. To our ushers, to our musicians, God bless you. To our praise team, God bless you. To our visitors, God bless you. Young lady in the middle, you're not a visitor anymore, but we thank God for seeing you and your beautiful spirit on this morning. Hallelujah to everyone in the house on today, all the beautiful members of the Apostolic House of Deliverance. Hallelujah. We love you, and we thank God for seeing you on today. To Sister Michelle, who's standing with me, getting my glasses for me on today. Pray for me. We thank God for seeing Brother Aaron once again. Looking good, looking good. To our deacons and our trustees, we thank God for you. Amen. I was just asked to bring a word a couple of days ago, so it's a short word, but it's a good word on this morning. I don't have to wait for you to tell me because I know, for it blessed me. Hallelujah. And then <laughs> to our preachers. Once again, at 12.30 when I was getting ready to get in the bed, God changed it. But I'm going with what God says on this morning. I had a cute word for you, but I'm going with what God says on this morning. Amen. You stand for the reading of the word. It's Minister Dean. Read those seven verses for me on this morning. Second Kings 20, 1 through 7. And he recovered. Amen. Bless God. Thank you, Minister Dean. Amen. On this morning, you may be seated. I'm going to use for a subject on this morning, a wall experience. And my subtopic on this morning, it turned after I turned. Amen. Hezekiah was sick. And from my understanding, he had balls and stuff that came all over his body. And you can just imagine, when you get those balls, the doctor tell you that it's because of infection. Amen. So he had got so sick, and, you know, until he could hardly stand it. The pain was excruciating, you know. And, and, and Isaiah came into him to let him know that the Lord had told him that he was going to die. So I can imagine in my mind, only, I can only imagine in my mind how Hezekiah must have felt. Especially, you know, if he wasn't ready to die. You know, if somebody come to you and just tell you you get ready to die, you know you're not ready. Although Hezekiah, was a, he was a man of God. Amen. So he could have very well just surrendered. Amen. As I witnessed, you know, with my father. Amen. So many, so many days we would come in a room and we would find his face to the wall. 
Amen. And we didn't understand it, you know, and, and several times me and Regina were walking and I would say, Daddy, what you looking at? And he, he do this. And, you know, and we know now, I understand now, Gina, that he was just having a talk with the master. And so he had to turn his face to the wall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Although Hezekiah's wall experience brought him life in addition to, to his life. You know, I can imagine in my mind that Bishop said, like I minister, um, Prophetess Angel would often ask me, you know, what, what is he saying? What is that? I said, Bishop said that he's okay with what he got to go through, but he don't want to fall apart. As long as God don't let him fall apart. So when Bishop began to fall apart, he turned his face to the wall. Hallelujah. And I can imagine he's saying, God put me back together again. Hallelujah. Where we was looking and hoping for him to live, he was hoping for his eternal rest. Bishop had lived his 83 years, and we thank God for that on this morning. So we say unto you, Bishop, take your rest. Hallelujah. And we bless God for your wall experience on today. Hallelujah. If you just continue to stay faithful to God, he will give you everything that you need. Continue in God in prayer. Just keep trusting and believing in him. For sooner or later, it's going to turn in your favor. Hallelujah. But remember one thing that you got to turn. Hallelujah. You can't stay the way you are and continue in sin and think God is going to bless you anyway. Hallelujah. It's, I say it turned after I turned. Hallelujah. So many days I had pain, and I'm sure some of you in here can vouch for this on today. Hallelujah. You didn't know what to do. Hallelujah. You didn't know who to call. You're tired of taking medication. The doctors won't have to see you now because everything is COVID. Hallelujah. But we thank God for we can turn our face to the wall. Hallelujah. I thank God for the wall on today. Hallelujah. For I can look to the wall on today and say, Lord, I need your help. Hallelujah, I need strength, God. I can't do this on my own, God. Hallelujah, my body is wrapped with pain, God. I need you, God. I thank God for the world on this morning. Hallelujah, I admonish you on today. I encourage you on today. Take a turn to the world on today. Whatever you need, hallelujah. Look to the world, hallelujah. Why am I going to look to the world? Because God is on the wall, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard about the handwriting that was on the wall. Hallelujah. And it was a good thing. Hallelujah. So I'm going to turn to the wall on this morning. For I know that my help, hallelujah, my help, my strength, hallelujah, my joy, my happiness going to come when I turn to the wall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep looking to the wall. Hallelujah. On those nights, hallelujah, when I don't want to wake my husband up, hallelujah, things come into my mind. I can't sleep. I just continue to just lay still so I won't disturb him. But all at the same time, I'm looking to the wall. Hallelujah. I bless God for my wall experiences on this morning. Hallelujah. Just remember, hallelujah, like I said before, it's going to happen. After you turn, hallelujah, the Bible said, if my people, which are called by my name, when I'm in themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, hallelujah, then I will forgive their sins and heal their land. But you got to turn first, hallelujah. Remember, you got to put something in it to get something out of it. Hallelujah, you want all the good, but you want to continue to do what you want to do. Hallelujah, but it don't work like that. Hallelujah, you got to put some in it to get some out of it. Hallelujah, but it's going to work in your favor. All you got to do is just remember to trust God when you turn to the wall. Be specific. Hallelujah, I can just imagine that God just heard Hezekiah's prayer because his pain and stuff was probably so intense. Hallelujah, and I'm sure there were people in the room that I, as I read and I'm told, hallelujah, he didn't want them to see the emotions and expressions on his face. So he just turned to the wall. He turned to the wall. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He didn't want nobody to see his tears and the sweat and the pain, hallelujah, that he must have been going through at that time. Hallelujah, but when he turned to the wall, it says God, after he turned, God added unto his life. Hallelujah, God added unto his life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, because he knew that if he turned to the wall and to had a talk with the master, everything, everything, everything was going to be all right. Hallelujah. If you want something to change, you got to change something on this morning. Hallelujah. So look to the wall. Hallelujah. So if you look.
looking straight ahead. I admonish you to turn on this morning. Hallelujah. So evidently, you're looking the wrong way if you don't see no change in what you're praying for. Hallelujah. You're trying to do it on your, on your own. Hallelujah. But I admonish you to give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. For he can handle it. He can handle it. He can handle it better than you can. Just leave it alone. Hallelujah. You got to make a turn. Hallelujah. On this morning, hallelujah. If you're in pain on this morning, just turn to the wall. If you got a loved one you want to be saved, just turn to the wall. If you need a lifting on this morning, just turn to the wall. Hallelujah. Whatever you need on this morning, I admonish you to just take a turn. To the wall on this morning. Glory to God. I thank God for my wall experience. I release some things when I turn to the wall. Hallelujah. It turns some things around when I turn to the wall. Hallelujah. I was free from some things when I turned to the wall. Hallelujah. I was healed, set free, and delivered when I turned to the wall. That's right, Sister Rhonda. I like the way you're looking at that wall on today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to touch and agree with you on this morning, Sister Rhonda. And I'm going to look at that same wall you looked at. It's getting ready to turn, Sister Rhonda. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody in here today needs a wall experience. So I admonish you today to just take a turn. To the wall, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody need a healing on today. Just take a turn to the wall. Hallelujah. I thank God for my wall experience on today. And I thank God for I'm beginning to see a lot of cha positive changes for just deciding to turn to the wall. I took it to God. I took it to God in prayer. And oh, what a privilege. What a privilege. It's an honor and a privilege. Hallelujah to take it to God in prayer. Why aren't things happening? Because we're not taking it to prayer, to God in prayer on this morning. Hallelujah. Brother Corey needs something on this morning. And we should touch and agree with him on this morning. Can somebody just turn to the wall in his stead on this morning? Hallelujah. God, we need you to do it now. In the name of Jesus, God. We take this opportunity, God, to have a wall experience, God. Oh, God, we need you to heal, God. So we look into the wall, God. We need strength, God. So we look into the wall, God. Somebody has lost their joy, God. So we look into the wall, God. Oh, God, somebody is low on faith, God. So we look into the wall, God. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. So we look into the wall, God. Hallelujah. We thank God. For being able to turn to the wall, God. Hallelujah. God, I need you, God. That when my husband get back to the doctor on tomorrow, hallelujah, we're going to look to the wall on today, God, for that situation to change, God. Hallelujah. Infection has to go when you look to the wall. Depression has to go when you look to the wall. Oppression has to leave when you look to the wall. So on today, I admonish you, 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 and you to just look to the wall. Hallelujah. We bless God for the wall. Turn to the wall now. Leave it there. Hallelujah. I felt it on this morning. I looked at you on today. I said, God, send her to the wall. Help her to turn to the wall. Help her to realize, God, that all she needs to do is turn it over to you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Continue to do the things that are pleasing unto God so that when you turn, you know that your prayers are answered. For the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous man availeth much. Our prayers are powerful to God. They'll get the job done. That's why we get phone calls and texts from sinners and people who are not close to God. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. It's almost to the point where you want to say, get yourself together so you can pray for yourself. But they know that the affection, fervent prayers of the righteous man avail as much. 
I thank God for I know my prayers avail as much. I pray for you till you get yourself together. For I know that I can turn to the wall. I don't care what you need, what I need. I can turn to the wall. And I know that God can fix it when we turn to the wall. It turned after I turned. And I bless God for my wall experience. 